It was good on Blank if you blank, Scotty. Oh, it was brilliant. I mean, Big Terry was wonderful on Blank if you blank, but Les actually made that program. Oh, yeah. You know? Do you remember he used to do the facial expression with the other guy when they were having a comedy sketch? Yeah. And he would go, oh, but it was the two old women. I'll tell you who that was. That was Roy Barraclough, who became Alec Gilroy in The Rover's Return in Coronation Oh, I remember The Rover's Return. The Rover's Return. Yeah. And Alec Gilroy and Bet had it. And um, Roy Barraclough and Les got together as Sissy and Ada. Uh, yeah. uh, Fantastic. But I, w- I would like to know your opinion on this, Scotty, right? Mm. Now, we're living in 2023. We right? are ready, yes. Now, do you remember the comedian Bernard Mann? Ben- I met Bernard. Oh, gee. Yes, oh, I met oh, Bernard. Bernard's no longer wow. with us, sadly, but I met Bernard. I went to a charity do in Manchester when I was working at Media City. And was I walked it in. You went to? No, it wasn't the Embassy Club. It was another one. And I walked in, and there's Bernard Manning. I thought, I can't believe it. I'm looking at Bernard Manning. And I said to him, I says, I says, hi, Bernard. And he goes, hello, son. <laughs> oh. I, but listen, what I'm trying to say is, yes, right? See the stuff that Bernard Manning done as a comedian, right? You, know, you want to get away with that, did you? No. Right? You wouldn't. And I'm over, I don't want to see it over no, the airway, so. But I don't know. See, I've, I, I must be honest with Yeti. I've been a huge up? following for years, right? Aye. And uh, there's two billion people have heard of Scotty McLean. Now, that's oh, not, yeah, that's yeah. not so bad. Scotty, so you mean your own Scott FM? Aye, I own Scott FM, and we're a quarter of a million every half hour listening. Now, um, I think I've never really been blue at all. Aye. You see? Aye. Uh-huh. And uh, Scotty, best thing ever you talked about was taxi boundary charges with a taxi driver, says Tracy. <laughs> yes, right, Scotty. I don't know if you remember this, right? Yeah. Now, you might know, right, because you've had that in many calls, right? You were quite popular, and the, 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 the show on the radio was, it was brilliant, man, right? Because when you tap enough, but if you can have a laugh, you know what helps, right? Eddie, you anyway. need a laugh. Eh? You need a laugh. Oh, my. But my dad phoned you in one night, right? And he uh-huh. says, my name's Tim. He says, Scotty, I want to talk to you, right? He says, I'm a taxi driver, and I want to talk to you about the smellies. Do you remember that, Scotty? The smelly people. Aye. Ah, the ones, <laughs> excuse my language, the ones that piss in the seat. Oh, aye, the ones that let go in the, in the back of the taxi. Aye. 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 But, eh, uh, I want to... I mean, like... <laughs> I, 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 I like the old school comedian, right? But Scotty, before I shoot the crawl, right? Yes. Before I shoot the crawl, right? I was watching last night on YouTube and there was a Reverend, it was pretty film, right? Yes. Reverend I Am Jolly and another man who you said you had the pleasure of meeting, he played the part of Jimmy Boyle. Is it David something? David Heyman. Aye, aye. I like him, right? Now, Eddie, Eddie. See if you go on to YouTube and you put in Scotty McClue talks to David Heyman. You'll get the whole interview. Oh. What about that? Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Hi. Scotty McClue well, talks to David, David Heyman. Oh, and and he, he's, he's fantastic. Great, a great guy and a super actor. It was the, it was the Reverend I Am Jolly. <laughs> And David, Mark, David was on it, right? And before um, Ricky Fulton came on the set, he was drinking a hot pot of gin. Now, <laughs> now, let me tell you, that wasn't the Reverend I Am Jolly. That was the question I was asking. That was the right. Reverend David Goodchild. Oh. So that's what he was called in the very first one. And David Heyman was the floor manager. Aye. Uh, and, and a guy came out for the production team, Scott, and he said, right, the old buzzer is just a bit on. It's a bit not right. He said, aye. And, and Ricky Fulton's like that. He says, 
Yeah, just a little bit nervous, you know, she was a little frog in the throat, uh, a little frog in the throat here, she said, maybe I should let the frog talk to her and myself. That's right, and then David, David, he said, listen, you get nervous, just wait to get married. Just wait to get married, that's it. He says, pardon the John here, mate, but you know, if you'll pardon the John, the that, it goes, there was a man, if you'll pardon the John Kirby. A privilege and a pleasure talking to you uh, as uh, ever. Yeah. Never, it was a pleasure, never a chore, so yeah. Never a chore, Eddie, and dinky doola. Dinky doo to you, the doo. That's already.